So I'm actually gonna show you a couple different ways you can set up the lathe. You wanna keep it basic when you're starting out. You can always progress to other setups and different techniques as you go along. So the first thing and most basic thing is to use a pen mandrel. This is a pen mandrel. This is what we call a fixed mandrel, meaning this shaft is fixed into the Morris taper and we cannot adjust it. Uh, and that is no problem, but let me show you how this is set up. So that nut comes off. There's five spacers that come with this mandrel, and these are actually slimline bushings. Little secret there, so you can turn a slimline with those. Now this goes into your lathe. You wanna know what Morse taper your lathe has. This is a Laguna 1216. It has a Morse taper too, and that just slides right in there. So when you're getting your pen kit ready, you can imagine this had a blank on it, on this tube. You're gonna have bushings and your blank with your tube in it, and you're gonna slide it right on here. Now you can actually use these spacers to give yourself a little room off the mandrel here, and then you can slide this right on. And this, these bushings are gonna be your guide to your blank. That's how far you wanna turn it down on the ends. And then you'll put a couple spacers and tighten this up here. Looks like I need to tighten that shaft. There we go. Now, this is ready to go with the exception of the tailstock. And at the end of this shaft, there's a little point, a little hole in the, in the shaft where your point of your live center goes. So that goes right in there. You lock it down and you're ready to turn. You can see how it spins. Now, there's one really cool upgrade you can make to this that'll really save you some headache and time and taking this nut off and on and that is using a mandrel saver. Now what that does is it replaces your live center here and it goes in there and your shaft will slide right into the mandrel saver and all the way through. So if you had a really short tube and a lot of mandrel, you wouldn't have to put a bunch of spacers. You can slide the mandrel saver right over the shaft and up to the bushings, lock it down and you're ready to go. So you can see here, if I push on this, the beauty is that my mandrel saver is pushing on my bushings and it's not pushing on the end of my mandrel causing it to bow and get out of round. So this will make it a light, nice and straight, a lot straighter over time. So the mandrel saver is probably one thing that I would recommend getting right away because it'll save you a lot of headache and potentially some mandrels. So this is a long tube here. This is for a Zen tube. And what I'm gonna do is take this out and I'll show you one other way to put your pen blank on the lathe. Get all this out of the way. And that is between centers. So if you have a dead center that's 60 degrees, you can see mine is well worn, and a live center that's 60 degrees, you can use what's called TBC bushings. Now I don't have TBC bushings here for this Zen pen and we wouldn't want to just stick this right on here because this sharp edge of the bushing would wear into my dead center and my live center and cause them to be uh, go bad essentially. But I can use these premium TBC adapters. They're premium stainless steel. We make these right here in Arizona. Oh. Can you hand me that cameraman? Thank you. All right. You guys get to see the real thing. So I put that on there. I put my TBC adapters in there and then I put it right between centers and I just snug it up and I'm ready to go and turn right there. Now the TBC adapters are cut in the sides, in the ends, I should say, at 60 degrees. So they match up right with the live center and dead center perfectly. And they create a wobble free, movement free uh, way of holding it. So. Down the road, if you're just starting, I wouldn't jump into TBC, but down the road, you may want to. My opinion is it does create a little better quality, uh, keeps the out of round issues away. So this is always an option for you. But if you can get the TBC adapters for the kit you're making, do that first. And if not, the TBC adapters are the next best choice. So I hope that explains a little bit on how to set your pen blank up on the lathe. And thanks for watching.